so many aspects of teaching that one could have reviewed. It could be in the lecture, it could be materials, um, it could be uh, exams, for example. Any aspect of those, they're all part of teaching. So having someone come in to the classroom and sit there as a student and see what your methodology would be very, very helpful because they probably do it very differently and they have insights. You wouldn't do it the way they do it, but they still would have insights for you. And the type of classroom, that would have an effect on um, a human being sitting in there. If it's a small classroom, I've had that happen before um, the head department came in and sat in the back of the classroom. Now, she was a wonderful teacher and also a, a good friend and colleague and it was a helpful thing. But the students kept looking around, you know, and wondering, why, why is, you know, the head department sitting in the back of the room? And she kept saying, no, they, you, know, you know, don't pay attention to me. But they couldn't help it. Now, if, now I've had it also in large lectures where a reviewer came in, sat up in the back, students had no idea. I knew, but they didn't. So it, um, I think in small classrooms it would be more disruptive. Large classrooms, they wouldn't be noticed. I know some people are extremely uncomfortable with even the thought of someone entering their classroom. It's their private domain, essentially. I think that can be affected, at least for myself, with the kind of conversation I've had with reviewer before they come into the classroom. So it's not a surprise. So. I know the sorts of things they're going to be looking for, and they also know the things I'd like to work on or improve, what my goals are. I was chatting with um, a friend, she's a primary school teacher actually, and she says it's very important for her that a reviewer knows her goals. And is she getting those goals across? And I think that's excellent. Not so much your style so much, but are you achieving your goals in teaching? That would be important. And that would make it more comfortable. And also the, I guess the collaborative aspect that you, or feelings, relationship, that's the word. Collaborative relationship you have with the reviewer would be important. If it's someone that you had animosity with or didn't respect, of course, I, it's not going to work. You're not going to be comfortable. You're not going to be yourself, and you're not going to teach to your best. But if you have a good relationship with the reviewer and you respect them, then I think your comfort level would go way up. Many people are uncomfortable with being in their classroom and having a reviewer come in. How, when you think of it, it's kind of funny because we ask our students to stand up in the classroom and give a presentation and they're always uncomfortable with that, but they do it. And so perhaps we should uh, take the same advice we give to our students. Get up and do it and get the feedback and learn from it.